okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous video we have successfully uploaded the images of the product and on this video let's handle the uh, update and delete of the product if you want to delete or update the product so let's handle that so first of all on the back end we have to create two different uh, controller functions one to update the product and one to delete the product so let's do that here so I scroll down and create here a function first of all export cons that is going to be update product okay async first of all request a response and next so first of all we have to get the details of the product and if that product does not exist then we have to simply throw the error okay so what i will do here is i will simply use that and also let's use here return next uh, with new error handler and pass in here this message that is going to be product not found so i put that here and then for the code i will use here 404 and i remove this from here okay so i also copy that from here and i put that right here okay simply save it and now i also have to copy this from here and i put that um here okay so if the product is not there we will simply throw the error but if product is there then we have to update the details okay so for that i will you copy this from here actually and i put that here so it is going to be product we will pass in here the product dot find by id the id of the product and then the, in the body uh, we have to pass the request dot body that user will pass from the front end so request dot body and i will type here the product that we have just updated simply save it this is our update product and for the delete product i will simply copy that from here okay and I'll paste that here so that is going to be delete product and we will check that if product is not there we will simply throw this error and if the product is there then we simply have to remove that product and that is going to be await product dot delete one so it will delete that product and remember that we also have to delete the images associated with that product so we will simply also delete that okay and then i will simply type here for loop so for let i is equal to zero then we will run this loop until the length so that is going to be product okay so product dot images dot length and then i plus plus so in that we will simply uh, you call here cloudinary so await cloudinary dot v2 dot uploader dot uh, destroy okay so in the destroy we have to pass in here the public id and it will destroy that image so that is going to be product dot images of i dot public underscore uh, underscore id okay so we will pass all the ids one by one and it will delete all the images from the cloudinary server okay and after that we will set here 200 and i uh, type here success that is going to be true simply save it so this is our update and delete function controller function so i go to here in the pages in the admin and uh, the product i create a new file uh, sorry folder that is going to be id in that i create my file that is called index.js so i will copy this from here and i put that here so that is going to be a put request and that is going to be update product okay in the same way we have here the delete product and that is going to be delete okay simply save it and close this from here now our backend is ready now let's go in the components in the admin create a new component here that is called update product dot gsx okay so i will use this name a uh, new product dot gsx uh, component here and i will change that to update product okay so i will paste that here and also i will paste that here okay i also change the title to this save it and now uh, i will go out here in the app in the admin uh, in the product uh, and then here in the id create a new file here that is called page.gsx 
okay so what i will do here is i will simply uh, copy this from here and i put that here first of all that is going to be update product pass in here the data okay so i will get here the params first of all params in the get product i have to pass in here the param.id okay so in that we will get the product details okay so params and then params.id and route is going to be slash api slash product and then slash the id of that product and then i will simply have to set in here data uh, dot product okay so we will simply get the product details from here simply save it and now let's test it out and that is the id okay we have to pass in here the id save it uh now close this from here now we have here the data okay and we will set the data in the use state right here for all the fields like data dot name okay and this way i will set all the fields so i simply save it from here and now if i go back to my chrome and before that i go here in the uh, components in the admin in the products and here i have to add this id uh, for this pencil icon so now if i go back to my chrome and i go in the uh, all products if i click here this edit okay so you can see that here you get all the details of the product now i simply have to update the details okay so for that i go back and i go to the context and in the product context I will simply copy this function from here and I put that here so that is going to be update product we will pass in here the product and then the ID of that product okay so our route is going to be slash API slash admin slash products and then slash the ID of that product we will pass in here the product and that is going to be a put request and we will check that if that exists then we will simply set here set updated to true and we will replace to the slash this route okay and if there is any error we will simply set that here simply save it copy this update product and i will set that here okay so here first of all we have the update product then we have here error updated set updated and then we have here the clear errors okay so i will simply set here use effect so use effect okay and we will set in here the error and then the updated so if there is any error we will simply toast dot error here the error message and then we will simply clear the errors from the state okay and we also have to import the toast okay and also i will check that here that if updated then we will simply set in here toast dot success that is going to be product updated and then set updated to false okay so in this way it will simply uh, display the error if there's an array and also it will display this success message on the update and also set the updated to false okay and the submit handler we have to call here in the update product save it and now if i go back let's test it out if i add here just one update product so cost to field for uh, undefined path for model okay so uh, you also have to set it here the pass in here the product sorry data dot underscore id id of the product if i simply save it now if i go back read all this once type here one and click on update product so again we have this error uh, add path id for model product okay and i think so this is underscore 
all right now let if i click here update product so you can see that here set updated is not a function so that is the uh set updated okay simply save it so you can see that the product is updated here if i reload it so one is added here if i type here like 48 click on update product so product is updated here okay if i even if i reload the page the price is updating so our product is updating successfully here i hope that you understand and also we have to actually add this use effect for the error uh, in the upload images okay so i will set that here and move this from here and also i will import the toast so if there's an error it will display that okay great so now our product is getting updated now we simply have to handle the delete part of the product okay so i will simply have to go to the context then the product context so now i will simply copy this from here and i put that here that is going to be delete product in that we have to pass in here the id only of the product okay that is going to be delete for this url we don't have to pass anything here so if we have here data dot success then we will simply replace to slash admin slash product save it and now we simply have to call that so i go here in the components in the admin in the products we have here this trash button so what i will do here is i will add on click on here in here so on click i will simply call my delete handler in that i will pass the product id that is going to be product underscore id we have to create this delete handler so i will go to the top and then here i will simply type here delete handler pass in here we will get the id here and then we simply have to call the delete product in that we will pass the id so you have to get this delete product from the uh, state so cons uh, use state sorry use context we have to pass in here the product context and we have to get that from here like this simply save it and now let's test it out if i go back and if i go to the all products let's um cannot destructure use context okay and i think so we have to make that use client because we have used that here if i go back and now if i go to page number four okay so let's delete first of all this one delete so that product is gone and also we have to actually add here um, use effect uh, let me copy that from here so I will copy that and I put that here okay so I will import the use effect first of all and remove this from here and also this updated so I will import here the error and then the clear errors simply save it and also have to import here toast save it okay so now let's delete the second product which is this one that also has images so if i click here delete so it will take some time okay so now you can see that here the product is deleted successfully here also so that's it for this video we have successfully updated our product details and also we are deleting the product from our database and also it is deleting the images from the cloudinary server so i hope that you understand uh, from the next video we will start working on our orders and then the users options okay and then we will clean up our project and then we will de deploy it on the versa okay so i will see you in the next lecture